the hell? Oh, nice spawn, bro. You want to see the dragon? Behind you, behind you. You can actually ride him. Alright, so this guy just spawned in next to me. We're not even on the same team. But, brothers and sisters, welcome to the Ice Abyss map. It's on the test server as of 30 minutes ago. There's a lot of things that are still work in progress. You can see the name of that door, whatever that is. Uh, they haven't quite changed it to its, like, forward-facing name. It's still its, like, file name. And the textures on the bridge are kind of wonky. You'll, you'll see a lot of stuff like this. So I, I'm assuming this is all work in progress. Uh, but here's the dragon. Let's skip ahead to get a better view of it here. Yeah, parkouring is going to be a problem on this map if they don't fix it, but we'll talk about that in a second. So here she is, or he, Ice Dragon. Unfortunately, you can't damage it, you can't heal it or bless it, you can't interact at all. When you hit it, it's like hitting the ground, it does nothing. <laughs> but yeah, the vibes on the test server are nice, it's kind of like playtest days. People just kind of hanging out. There was a there was a traitor, but we killed him. I healed people. It was all good. Anyways, so here is the full piece together mini map of this new ice abyss layer or floor, whatever you want to call it, whatever the official name is going to be. And uh, you can see in the middle that's the boss room, and it's surrounded by all these different modules. Honestly, you run into people very very quickly, and you can get to the boss room very quickly, and everything is open. And you can parkour very easily and see even further. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. I think they're going to have to limit the parkour. And I, I don't know. We'll have to see how this map plays out. Again, there's the doors. They open pretty cool. So there is uh, the harpy and like an ice imp. I'll just go ahead and show that to you right now. All right. So you see this little blue guy up here? That's the ice imp. He throws this little uh, like snowy icy projectile in a lobbing fashion it appears to have a little bit of splash too and it slows you when you get hit and then when you get close and you start hitting him he has this uh teleport attack where he like goes into the ground and then teleports somewhere else so that's kind of cool here she is finally in the game the harpy the female ice harpy you can see her animation her melee animation looks just like the demon bat but it's closer uh, but it's slower, sorry. And then you see what she did there. She shot out two, like, airwaves. Classic, basic, you know, MMO gaming style harpy stuff. But yeah, I do like that she attacks slower than Demon Bat. I think Demon Bat's a little too fast. You get hit as a PDR, it's kind of it's kind of iffy. But anyways, yeah, I'll just let this play out a bit. You can kind of see them attacking... They have a little bit of knockback there, you can see, just like Demon Bat. But no slow on hit, thankfully. There's Ice Imp. There's the airwave attack again. I didn't find any other mobs besides these two, as far as new mobs go. Although we've seen plenty in the game files, but I'll, I'll keep quiet about those. There are some interesting things coming. Alright. So there's the harpy. We'll show you a little bit of the rest of the map. There's the slow on hit. I do not have protection from evil, so that's, you know, about how long it's going to last normally. <laughs> Alright, let's move on and show you some of the map. So a lot of this map does seem a little basic. I'm not sure if that's just the design of it or if it's like a work in progress and it's going to look a little better. There's a lot of, like, like, this is just a basic, like, square room, you know, and there's a lot of... It's kind of hard to explain, just everything seems simple, you know? I'm not opposed to simple, as long as it, you know, speeds up maybe their content pipeline, and they can get it out faster, as long as it's still quality. Uh, there are a lot of places on this map that you can parkour very easily, as you can see. I'm a cleric that's slow with double jump. But, like, you can see pretty far on a lot of these modules. Even you can, like, shoot into the boss room if you wanted to. So, I don't know how that's going to work. A windlass or a longbow. Yeah, that's what I was thinking in game. Like, I don't know how that's going to work. And there are a lot of places you can get stuck and die. Like, right here I got stuck. And really? this guy tried to kill me. I, I killed him. <laughs> but I'm stuck. You can see the textures on the bridge here a lot better. Uh, I don't know what the area down below is. You can't get back up from that. So yeah, that's that's what it looks like so far. You, if you guys have the Collector's Edition or Founder's Edition uh, of this game, you can check it out for yourself. Go on the test server, 
go into the duo mode and sometimes you'll get this map sometimes you won't so you'll have to queue up multiple times but yeah there you go there's your first look if you don't have it hope you guys enjoyed and uh warlord's gotta die we gotta kill him so that's my goal for this week solo warlord